Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up 279. Welcome to Yorkshire, or Harrogate to be more specific. This is stage six of the WKG Racing League. Thank you, Mr. R Blaster, for the ride on, right on cue. I know you wait until the camera was on just to get yourself a bit of airtime. Uh, no, good to see you, dude. Yeah, stage six, two laps of a course that until about an hour ago, I had never tried. And having now just done a very gentle lap of it, I can confirm I fucking hate it. There's nothing to like. It's, I mean, there's there's no break. It's like a roller coaster. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. Although, that said, the very steep uppy, downy bits, I don't think are the, the areas that I'm, I dislike the most. I think the bits I really dislike are the long, gentle, dragged uphill that seem to last about three, four hundred miles. It's going to be tough to race on. I'm predicting the field to be split all over the place because it's so up and down. It's going to be very hard to stay in a bunch, I would imagine. Um, yeah, it's just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Nice scenery in parts, but I get blurry eyes after five kilometres. I won't be able to see it anyway. Um, right. I have had a change of kit in real life and in game. I am today sporting my Team Type 1 jersey and virtual kit within the game for the simple reason that I was incredibly frustrated and disappointed that I couldn't take part in any of the World Diabetes Day events yesterday. Frustratingly, the date just coincided with loads of things that I couldn't avoid and it just meant I couldn't even get on the bike for a second. And uh, obviously, those of you that know me know that that is, uh, is a date and a cause that is very close to my heart. And I would love to have been able to do something more substantial in support of the whole day and Team Type 1 and JDRF and uh, just raise as much awareness as possible. So my little drop in the ocean to try and compensate one way or another is today to wear my second favourite kit on Zwift. It actually is anyway, in terms of design, it's really nice. Um, so I'm wearing the Team Type 1 kit today just in the hope that this is the video that I make that goes viral gets 25 million views and everybody gets to see that kit and just uh, shed some light on a, like I say, very worthwhile course. I'm also wearing a nice tweed flat cap just in keeping with my surroundings and uh, I would like to commentate this entire video in a Yorkshire accent but all my accents end up sounding Indian. So this course, my reason for making sure I did a lap prior to the race was mainly through the horror stories that have been floating around in the forums and it really got into my head. It is horrible but it had been kind of built up to be this absolute torturous experience so I had to experience it for myself and um, what I did do, let me just show, this is, this is how much it got into my head let me just minimise this for a second. I even made this while I was doing my recce lap. There you go, a little cheat sheet of the profile of the course. I will quickly remove that so none of you can freeze frame it for your own benefits, that's, that's for my eyes only. Yeah, just to try and keep an eye on the bad parts. Well, they're all bad parts, but the really bad parts. So hopefully I can manage my effort a little bit better over this next 28-ish kilometers, 450-ish meters of climbing. And uh, in the absence of a few of my key rivals, fingers crossed, pick up some, some decent points. Right, anyway, I am going to zip my lip wind down my legs a little bit, have a bit of a stretch, and I will jump back on in the start pen. All right, here we are on the start pen, and I've left it incredibly late because I've been trying to sort out how my daughter is getting home. It's pitch black outside. She's been out with her friends and didn't tell me she's getting dropped back. So I just had a bit of a panic. Anyway, <clears throat> great turnout, guys. Looks good, all the usual suspects are here. Here we go, let's wind up a little bit of power. Two, one, best of luck everyone. Go, go, go. One of the spots I've earmarked as a bit of a recovery area. Not for long. So, about to go up 
very steep bit. <laughs> I didn't recover enough. Okay, so we're flattening off a little bit now. Uh, luckily, we get about 700 meters of downhill. Because the day might never come. Don't worry about the morning. Because the day might never come. Managed to form a great little trio here with Joel Walker and Gary Fraser putting out, well now on the descent, we're putting out nice gentle amounts of power but it was about FTP for me so far, a little bit above in some spots. So this downhill that goes on for about another 400 metres, a very welcome break. <coughs> My strategy is actually to try and do a faster second lap than the first lap. But I've had to chase back on maybe more times than I should have done on this lap. But I'm gonna keep that in mind as my target. Don't worry about the morning. Because the day might never come. Bloody mini chain drop again. Luckily it was on the outside and I managed to just put it back on without losing too much. And now we're on the descent for about a kilometre. Joel's flown away from me. I'm not going to chase him here. I'm going to try and get my breath. After this, we've got 500 metres at about 6%. Here comes Gary Fraser back at me, flying down here. Good job, man. Just round this bend, start climbing again for a few hundred meters. Get the pookie power up. Cheers, Noel, for the ride on. And Carlos, good to see you, man. I can see you flying up ahead of me. And Joe Walker was waiting for me. Just go, man. Three hundred meter little kick. About five percent coming up. Starting to build. There we go, should flatten off now for about 900 meters, 800 meters. And then, got the steepest part of the course for a couple of hundred meters, back up to that long shadow drag to the banner. Here comes the punch, just around this bend. That is lap one, just about done. It's hard work. We caught out with T Widmer, but he's holding really solid power. 
Took a lot of effort to pull back. Joe Walker's been an absolute legend, as he so often is, pulling me around. Gary Fraser's two and a half, uh, sorry, two and a half watts, 16 seconds back. But no doubt he'll be back with us in a second. Up ahead of us, we've got Guppy, Lawrence, Gimlet, Hughes, all between 40 and 50 seconds ahead. Sorry about my dog. My son's just come in, so I hope he's gone mental. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, I'm really pleased with that. That last climb. Oh, oh, Alan, well done, man. Beautiful fight. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I knew, I knew that was the only chance I had. Get a feather, accelerate hard into the bottom of that climb. Just hope I can hold something once I got over it. Yes! <laughs> Where did I come? 97. Oh, but I'm really pleased with that. Oh! I think I might have done a faster second lap than the first lap, but I don't know. I don't know for sure, because obviously the start was very fast. But man, Joe Walker, you legend. Thank you, dude. And Gary Fraser, I was working with him for a while. The three of us together were flying. Albeit, we weren't attached to the, the group ahead. Alright, let's go up the front, see what's happening with the fast boys and girls. Oh, sweat is stinging my eyes. What a turnout. Unbelievable. Alright, overall winner, B Berging. Great stuff, man. Just pipping Nicholas Carey to the line, followed by Le Q. Then Maxim Golev. DBR, I'm not quite sure who that is. But it's someone that races for the WKG Vomit team, so apologies, I, oh, I can't see your name. Then we have H Chamberlain, Giles Blundred, VH, Jamie Woodward, and Brian Roden rounding off the top 10. Next up, P Bradshaw, DT, O Rostad, M Jepson, Simon Romain, Aki Mott, Wills Ryder, B Del Grosso, Paul Crocombe, J Anderson, S Ramsey, W Vischer, Jamie Crocombe, Hans Petter Summerson, John By the Way, Jean David Parry. Jay Marquez, Paul Sturgis, 
Thomas Reyes, Peter Wilson, R. Ficto, Hal Y, Emmanuel Pearson, R. De Silva, Gordon Jackson, K. Deggio, T. Kirkham, Kirkhow, sorry, T. Reinek, D. Kaz, J. Pocock, Mark Deal, Team Type 1, good job, man. Fastest Team Type 1 finisher. By a long way, I'm well behind you. <laughs> like 56 places behind you. Uh, Jason Marston, P. Stevens, Simon Gregory, Sandy Legg, Paul Nichols, Andres Silent, A. Silent, is it Andres? Oh, crikey. I shouldn't have even attempted your name. A. Silent, Jay Brosius, Dave Crook, Matt Seafried, Mick Capel. Where's Len Capel? I didn't see him. Has Mick got the better of his dad once again? Uh, D. Higgins, A. Sandvand, S. Cole, I am Tor Anna Martinison, Tom Quinn, Catherine Denton, Craig Sibbald, Kevin Wiltshire, B. Todd, D. Joseph, Percy Santa Maria, Dan Rayfield, M. Villa, Paul Trilk, Stuart Bailey, N. Brzozowski, Ashley Teagle, T. Watson, Paul Elliott Kowalczyk, S. Copping, D. Newport, R. Coveney, J. Lee, A. J. Galley, J. R. Blaster, R. Balls, I lost, lost points to Jason again in the main league and in my little League of the Eleven, or the Giggles League as it's now been known. Uh, Chris Davis, Kev Steven, 49.10. I don't know how far behind I am, but I think it's a good few minutes. Good stuff, man. Uh, so it's another one in my Chits and Giggles League I've lost out to. Rink Visser, great job. Keith Denton, great job. W. Wasperslag. Sorry, W. Hasperslag. Hasperslag. <laughs> sorry. D. Nicholson, J. Hume, L. Froome, France, Len Capel, G. Henriksen, PZ, G. Lavazzi. Lavazari, B. Boswell, Maria Trilk, J. Guppy, J. Walker, myself, Alan Hughes, W. Gimlet, H. Stenvik, Gary Fraser, Charlie M., Andrew Lawrence, M. Prop. Good job, Mr. Prop. I know you're relatively new to this and you've been flying the flag for the team brilliantly, so good stuff. Uh, D. Jones, Peter Futurco Robinson, Martin Overwood. Yes, I got revenge on Martin. Nick Taylor, Ernst Leckies, Mike Bergeron, S. Newton, K. M. Ketter Ketteringham. So 112 finish so far. Oh, do you know what's nice? Is that number at the top there? I'm not last out of the people I follow. I'm 59th out of 67. <laughs> That's something to be very proud of. Oh, well that was, do you know what? That was more enjoyable than I was expecting it to be. Uh, horrible route, but actually quite good for a race course, I think. Again, I echo what I said at the beginning. It's those long, flat drags, the things that really kill me. I cannot stand it. Just a slow, sort of gentle grind upwards. I'd rather be out the saddle climbing properly or obviously flying down. Um, anyway, yeah, not too bad. I've got some points, not as many as I'd have hoped, but I'll have clawed back points on Crampy. Actually, let's see, I don't think I'll be able to see. Sorry, this is all very self indulgent. So, I, out in total, I came 47th. <sighs> Trying to work out how many of these are league riders. Quite a lot of them by the looks of things. Uh, one, two, oh, I'm not going to count them. Right, I just need to be above 30th to get more than one point for that race. Uh, and I'll be relatively happy. Although, look, Tor, Catherine, oh, they're, all, they're in the top 10. Jason, Kev. Kev's probably in the top 20 once we filter it down into league races. Likewise, Jason. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I did enjoy it. Uh, nice way to end the week. I'm going to the weekend now and finally, hopefully, get to ride outside and test out my absolute black oval chain ring that I bought. Very excited. As I mentioned in my post, I'm not that fussed if it gives me any kind of improvements. What it has done is saved me some weight and it looks the absolute tits. I love it. So, uh, successful exercise as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for sparing your Friday evening to join us. Thank you all for riding. Jane's coming. Great to see you, Jane. Yeah, thank you all so much for riding. Thank you all for watching. I'm sure there's something really important I had to tell you, but if I remember it, try and tune in, if you can, to the live stream, 8 o'clock Sunday, 8 o'clock GMT Sunday, the What's Happened live chat. Is, I mean, it's just nonsense, mindless crap, but there's the occasional nugget of useful information in there that I try and share. Um, especially wine of the week, obviously. Uh, I'm a bit of a connoisseur. Uh, so, yeah, try and try and join me for that. It's really good fun. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and all the other things I'm supposed to tell you to do. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.